Hi everyone. How is everyone? I hope that everyone is safe among all this chaos caused by Omicron. So uh, moving on to the topic of the discussion today, we'll be discussing about scholarships and part-time job opportunities in Europe. So this video is specifically uh, motivated by some of my own experiences and some of the experiences of a podcast which I was listening recently. So this was a very interesting podcast. It's about Indian student mobility uh, to EU for higher education. So I must recommend you to listen to the podcast. You will get to know about various student mobility aspects, visa processes, pre-departure and post-arrival challenges, scholarship opportunities, student life in Europe, post-study opportunities, as well as job prospects in Europe after completion of your studies. The podcast is produced with the support of EU and in collaboration with government of India. Therefore, I can guarantee that the information provided in this podcast is extremely reliable and from the most trusted sources. It is featuring views from current and prospective students, uh, government officials in India and EU, international organizations, uh, selected European universities and student mobility experts. So the podcast is a knowledge product targeting Indian students who wish to study in the countries of the European Union. And it's a great listen, as I mentioned. Uh, you can check it out in Spotify and many different platforms. I will leave the link in the description below so that you can directly go and check the podcast. So moving on to the video, as I have already been staying in Europe for more than six years, and I recently, in, within a few days, I'll be receiving my EU long-term residence permit. So I thought, why not share my experiences and also the experiences that I gathered from the podcast regarding scholarships and part-time job opportunities in Europe. So if you apply for any EU program, you always hear about these Erasmus scholarships. There are different types of scholarships. Let us first glean through different types of scholarships. So there is something called Erasmus scholarship, which is very popular, which covers different EU countries. I will go into the details soon. And there are different member state scholarships, so scholarships specific to a EU member state like Finland, Germany, Netherlands, or there are also university level scholarships which are specific to a university like, for example, TU Delft, KTH Sweden, um, Chalmers, there are different type of scholarships. And in this video, we'll also discuss about what are the conditions that you need uh, that you must satisfy to do a part-time job, what are the different types of part-time job available and also about the intra-EU mobility which is the main highlight of these scholarships and part-time jobs. So regarding the Erasmus scholarship, um, before we go to that, let's discuss about the individual scholarships. So there are a bouquet of scholarships from overall EU and individual countries and you can check the podcast for all the details and specifically giving some examples if you go to germany uh, there is a website called dart.de en which provides an english version of the comprehensive list of scholarships and universities available in germany and there is study in holland.nl which gives you information about scholarships in netherlands like that there are different websites for specific eu member state also uh, to know about scholarships and i must say that uh, these scholarships can be full-time uh, part-time I mean like they can give you full benefit of your study and living expense or they can partially fund you for only your living expense or tuition fees and uh, giving some examples from different European countries so there is like the Holland scholarships from Netherlands which you can find in study in holland.nl uh, Danish government scholarships given by the Denmark government uh, Leiden University Excellence Scholarship this is a university specific scholarship for a Dutch university, Chalmers IPOET scholarship from Sweden, KTH Sweden scholarship, University of Oulu Finland scholarship. These are like the university specific scholarships. You can check a website called Scholars for Dev, which helped me a lot. I will leave the name in the description below. Uh, it's like a global scholarship aggregator, which gives you a lot of information. So in the podcast, they specifically stressed on the Erasmus Plus scholarship, which I'll be discussing now. So many of my friends also, when I was studying masters back in 2015 to 17 in TU Delft, Netherlands in computer science, uh, they also got the Erasmus Plus scholarship. It gives you an international dimension with international mobility built for uh, completing masters, uh, exchange with different universities, and at the same time travel and see whole of Europe. So the benefit of it is that 
you can study in two to three different universities in EU. Like for example, one of my friend, uh, one year of his masters, so the entire masters was two years. One year he did in TU Delft and one year in KTH Sweden. And the second year he could choose like whether you want to do in KTH Sweden or you want to go to Finland or some other university. So this gives you like a very varied experience and exposure of two different EU, two or three different EU member states. And you also gather a lot of different working styles, uh, different environments. So it helps you a lot to grow as a person, as a researcher or as a uh, individual for the future upcoming work. Apart from that, there are one thing you must remember this was also stressed in the podcast is that these scholarship deadlines are before the application deadline so for example in my time i remember some application deadlines were in january or march for an intake in september but the scholarship deadlines were like a year before almost in october or december so always two to three months before the application deadline the scholarship deadlines are there because they're limited in number they're not that many uh, for each university so they are limited for every university so that's why you should always try to apply very early if you want to play take your hand grab your hand to in any of these scholarships scholarships are academic based some are some also see your whole profile some uh, erasmus scholarship also value work experience so you need to see like what are the conditions that the scholarships need so that you also maximize your chances and showcase that in your cv so most European countries offer part-time job opportunities as I mentioned before and ideally these job opportunities uh, are around 20 hours of allowed work per week and you have to check in the because these rules change every year so you have to check in the individual website but they are like 20 hours of allowed work per week and I think this podcast also mentioned about the part-time job opportunities so do check the podcast and I must say this is sufficient it varies from city to city country to country but this can be sufficient to cover like 60 percent to 100 percent of your living expenses these part-time jobs if you work the full time like the 20 hours per week which is not the case always so this is, gives you a highlight of the part-time jobs and these part-time jobs can be of different type of jobs like teaching assistants uh, research assistants or off campus as food delivery agents a short work in supermarkets, postal delivery agents or for few hours a week may not be the full 20 hours. And there are different websites for finding these jobs in different EU member states. I will leave a link in the description below of these websites that I have gathered from some of my friends and also whatever I know about Netherlands and Germany. Finally, I must say that LinkedIn and other job finding portals in different EU countries, for example, Germany, they have a very popular portal just like LinkedIn called Zing. So these also I will leave some names in the description below. There's Jobnog in Norway. And for even further detailed info, do check the link of the podcast in the description below. So I hope you got some information in this video. Please do share with your friends, help each other out. Uh, do smash the like button if you haven't yet and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget till next video. Goodbye from India. Peace.